Good morning, everybody. And happy uh, hump day, a.k.a. Wednesday. Okay, all right. So, um, y'all, mm, mm, mm. now I might not be talking as loud because my kids are still asleep. Okay, thank God, honey. Ciao. Mm. Anywho, so, I'm coming to y'all this morning. I told y'all, ragamuffin style, okay? And it's going to be ragamuffin style for quite a few days because, yeah, like we we had um, six, seven feet of snow, okay? So nobody ain't going nowhere, okay? Um, I'm chilling, okay? Nightgown, head wrap. Yeah, I add a little, little bit of, you know, because, you know, I got a husband, okay? All right, and he, you know, I can't be like total straight ragamuffin like, all week, like we snowed in probably until next week, so he might want to see a little, you know, a little something. Okay, all right. So, um, honey, I, I'm, I'm telling you now. Yesterday, okay, I came at y'all about the um, I did a video called um, what did I say? Mm, mm, mm. Where's my phone at? Um, okay, I drew a blank, okay? Well, anyway, I have help, we have helped this guy. He was trying to get home, okay? His car had got stranded, and he abandoned his car, and he attempted to walk. So his car got abandoned, like, around 6 o'clock in the morning. Um, by the time we saw him on our street, it was, like, 1.30 in the afternoon. So he had been traveling by foot. Um, in 16 degree weather, feeling like one below zero, three to five inches per hour, he had been traveling in that from six in the morning until 1 30 in the afternoon when he got to the point where our house is and he asked for shelter. Um, so we gave him shelter, we gave him coffee and we offered him something to eat. And once he had got warmed up and rested, he said he had to try to make it. So his father-in-law lived like two streets away from us his home was eight blocks away but his father-in-law was two blocks away so he said he, he he had to go to try to make it and i showed y'all the video where the man was heading on out and um everybody want to know did he make it uh no he didn't even make it from in front of our door okay um so the neighbor next door um who was out there talking to him when he was trying to make his second journey he ended up well they knew each other come to find out they knew each other so he took him in and and that's where he stayed like he couldn't the weather within the hour that he was here with us the weather had gotten he was here like for an hour or so and at three to, about five inch three to five inches an hour like okay so when he came in it was already bad by the time he tried to do it again it was like 10 more inches at it okay and the wind and the snow was blowing and it was cold and he didn't make it and we gave him a pair of gloves this man was trying to make it he had a shovel he had one glove and whatever gear he had on he had a hat and coat and everything but he had one glove so my husband gave him a pair of gloves um and like i said we gave him coffee to help him warm his body up and offered him something to eat and um he didn't make it <laughs> from in front of our door Okay, um, oh, okay, my kids are waking up. I thought I was going to do this video kid-free. I'm doing a video stink links. You can too. Mm, when I'm done. I'll, here, you can have that stool right there. Um, sorry about that, y'all. So, yeah, um, yeah, so the man didn't make it, um, no further than next door to our house. So, um, but, um. Child, I'm telling you, um, at this point, cars are totally covered. Like, it's so flat. Like, you can't even see that it was ever a car there. And I'm going to take y'all and, and do some footage showing y'all what the end result was. Now, the snow has stopped, okay? We're at seven feet, okay? Now, um, and I told y'all, seven feet is like 84 inches, okay? 12, 7, 4, 8. 84 inches is what we ended up with, okay? 84 inches of snow. Now, it's not over, okay? Because tonight, around 1030, there's going to be another lake effect, okay? That's what they call it, a lake effect. When something goes on with Lake Erie, it just dumps, 
okay and so there's going to be another lake effect um they said we're going to get it like two to four inches like throughout the day periodically but at 10 30 tonight it's going to start up again and we're going to get like three or four inches per hour and we're expecting two more feet by tomorrow uh two more feet um let's see uh, 24 more inches of snow is what we're expecting on top of the 84 that we all already got. So we're looking at a hundred and something inches by the time this is all said and done. Okay. So I don't know where you all live or where you all come from, but honey, like I tell y'all, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. Uh, really? I don't, in my 40 something plus years. Okay. I've never seen a hundred and something inches in total. In my four, uh, 40 something uh, years of living, because I was born and raised in Baltimore, Maryland, I just came up here in, in July of this year. In my whole 40 something years, I never seen a hundred and something. When you add up all the, 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 the inches that we may have gotten over 40 something years, it don't add up to a hundred something. Here, this is one snowstorm, the very first snowstorm. And we're at a hundred, we're going to be at a hundred, we're at 84 now, we're going to be at a hundred something by the time it's set and done. That's what they're predicting now. See, their prediction, they can only predict what they see, but things can change because that's what happened with this storm. They said this is the worst storm since 77. The Almanac predicted it. They have been telling us all summer about us being new up here. Oh, uh, yeah, that the snow is terrible up here. This year going to be the worst. And the Almanac, so they have been telling us all summer of what was going to happen. And um so we was preparing. <laughs> like we was just like, okay, when the first snow hit, we going to be ready. And honey, this is worse than what they expected. Like the news didn't even predict this. Like they said they were expecting for the it's, they call it a band. It was there it was supposed to dump a certain amount of snow and they predicted it moving out. Well, it ain't move. Okay. Till it got ready to move. Okay. So but um but yeah, um I have some notes here because I wanted to remember to tell y'all some stuff. Okay, so they said five people died so far. Five fatalities due to people having heart attacks, trying to shovel. They found a guy in his car with his car still running, stranded. They have tons of tractor trailers um, stuck. So a tractor trailer couldn't even get through this. This snow is so bad that snow plows is not even going to help. They have to actually haul the snow out. Like, they got to pick the snow up, put it on a truck, and haul it somewhere. Snow plows ain't, ain't, is not the answer. Okay? That's how bad it is. Okay? Um, so, five fatalities so far due to either heart attacks from shoveling or finding people in their cars. Now, just a little tip in case, you know, anybody ever experienced this. Um, if you ever get stuck in your car and it's constantly snowing, try to get out every so often and clear your tailpipe out, okay, behind your car. Because what happens is if that gets blocked or clogged, the carbon monoxide seeps into your car. That's how the man ended up dying with his car running because apparently his tailpipe got covered with snow and the fumes and the carbon monoxide seeped into his car. So, um, yeah, if you ever get stuck in your car, Please clear your tailpipe out. Make sure snow's not built up and covering it because it needs to, you know, breathe, so to speak, so that the carbon monoxide don't seep into your car. So that's just a little tip. Of, you know, you just never know. Um, now, let's see. What else I got here? Yeah. So the worst storm ever. Okay. So... Yeah, so yeah, y'all, so yeah, I had to fix it up a little bit, ragamuffin style, but I ain't got to come when he looking totally raggedy, okay? Yeah, I got on my nightgown, um, I just threw some earrings on, my little head scarf, and you know, just a little something, um, lips, bam, honey, I love these from Dollar Tree, if you ever go into Dollar Tree and you see packaging on, on glosses like this, get them honey and beautiful and shiny and the brush that's in them is just wonderful so yeah i mixed these two together and came up with uh, voila <laughs> so yeah um so yeah on that note um like i said you know i'm not gonna be total ragger because like i said me and my husband is snowed in here okay probably until next week and i'm gonna show you in a second um but it's a good time like i said snowed in you know when you're snowed in like this yeah you, 
got to keep it up, okay? He don't want to see Raga, okay? The whole time he snowed in with your ass, okay? And um, this might be a good time to pull out your um your romance medicine bottle, okay? Yeah, bam. For those of you who have been following me for a while, y'all already know the deal on... Wait a minute, y'all. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, y'all. Wait a minute. Because we're going to keep the lighting going around here. One of my lights, the plug. The plug. Oh, come on. All right, well, anyway, I think y'all can still see mama. Um, But, yeah, your romance bottle, romance medicine, okay? Now, I have two bottles. Now, for those of you who've been following me, y'all already know when I did my eyes married. Now, how to stay married now. Um, ideas of the week. This is one of the ideas that I had bought to you, to you all uh, months ago. But for those of you who are who don't know or who weren't following me then, because I have a lot of new people that, that come and stop by and they, they, they might stumble across my channel and uh, they end up staying. Okay? Because mama, you know, some fun sometimes. Okay? Yeah, I get ratchet. I get ghetto. But it's 100% um, real. Channel 100, a.k.a. 100, honey. Okay? Yeah. So, for those of you who don't know, when you want to keep the spark alive, okay? Honey, you got to pull out this. It's called a romance medicine bottle. And what you do is, you take little pieces of paper, okay? Like this, okay? And you write little things on them that you, that you know that your husband might like. Um, for instance, this one says, I had a hard day and now I have a, oh, Okay, this is just like a little bit rated X. We're going to skip that and go to the next one. <laughs> um, but like I said, when you snowed in with this type of weather, honey, you got to pull out all kinds of stops, okay? Because uh, you got to keep it uh, interesting, busy. Yeah. Child, this rated X too. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Mama just off the chain, okay? Yeah, all my stuff is rated X up in my medicine bottle. Let me find a, a rated G, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, baby. It's out here moving. I'm about to go around. What? The What's wrong? Wow. All right, let me show y'all something. Oh. Hey, they got a tractor coming down our street. Hurry up. It's going away. See, oh, wow. Back. He'll come back. Wow, where'd see he come from? He see how he's pushing it on top of the Okay, car? see y'all. I'm going downstairs. Let me go downstairs and show y'all a, a good look. Good, 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 Mom. Oh, here's the news. Uh, hurry up, Mom. Wait, I'm going hurry down there. Shauna, hand me my... Uh, here's the news, y'all. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Look, they got to lift the snow out. All right, y'all. Let me go downstairs and show y'all. Shauna. That's all right. Wait a minute, y'all. Go downstairs real quick. Here's the side view. Here, y'all don't want to see all that. Y'all want to see some real deal. So let me go to the door. Go back, Stink. You don't have any shoes or anything on. Close that door. Boo, put this around my shoulders. I'm cold. Okay, y'all. This is what we looking like. The tractor trailer. Is that a tractor? A tractor. Not a tractor trailer. But a tractor. Truck. I mean a tractor. Okay, he's... Shit, but well, we got to dig out to get to the street. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Neighbors, I haven't seen them in a couple days. <laughs> she says she just want to go get a cigarette. I know this one. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. See, you might somebody's car, though. Yeah, see, that's the thing, y'all. It's cars. Car. People gotta dig their cars though. It's car. See this pole right here? There was a car right there, okay? And the car is still there, but you can't see it. It's just a flat snow. Like, you can't see it. You see? Wow. I hope ain't nobody's car right there, because this Man, thing. Look. He gonna be lifting somebody's car up off the ground. Oh, yeah. oh, he $35 an hour right now.
He's just piling it up on the sides. They, they gotta, they gotta be able to get through down the streets. He oh, gotta really? go all the way down. Yeah. Oh, he got a lot of work to do. Oh yeah, she's digging both. Shit, by the time he gets through the street. Oh, it's somebody's car right there. What? Oh my God! Like he could hit somebody's car. Yeah. All right, y'all. So this is the yeah. This is the saddest. Okay. This is where I fell yesterday. Um, yeah, I, I thought it was yeah. My husband is out here with shorts on and slippers. Really, though? Yeah. Put your hood on, it's cold. this real quick before it cut off and if it do I'll come back in my next video for those of you who have never seen the romance medicine bottle um wow okay so that's three so y'all saw what was going on it's 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 it's, it's something y'all Woo! I have never in my life seen anything like it okay the lady crossed the street said, I just want me a cigarette. So she must have ran out. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, my God. I think everything in here is rated X, y'all. And I'm not trying to be rated X right now. My children just woke up. I can't go there. I can't even cuss the way I want to. God damn. Okay, here's one that's, that's not too bad. Okay, so you take little pieces of paper like this and you write little things on it that you think your husband might like. So here's one of them. I strained my eyes and they hurt. Can I see your thumb? That wasn't as bad as the other one. But this is just like a little sample because you know your husband likes to see you in little sexy panties, thongs, boy shorts, whatever. So yeah. So what you do is you cut up little pieces of paper and I have like four, five, six pieces. And you put them in a medicine bottle. You fold them up like this. Put them in a medicine bottle. And when he come home from work and he didn't had a rough day, or you just want to surprise him, you say, well, honey, how you feeling today? How was your day at work? Oh, you tired? You don't feel good? You want some medicine? And you pull this out. You give it to him. Here you go, boo. Let's take some medicine. And he'll open it up. My husband gets excited when he see this, okay? Like, this changes everything for him when he see me pull this out. And honey, I mean, he laughs and giggles because he'd be so excited. He pulls them out on the bed and then he pick one. And there you have it. What you A video. I'm talking about how excited you get when I pull out my romance medicine bottle. Oh, you got it? Of course. Where's it? Oh, he's jumping. Really, boo? This is for the video. No, you, we ain't doing no medicine bottle right now. Oh, shit. Right, he is doing the happy dance. I told y'all when I talk about the bottle, he gets excited. But, uh, no. Because, um, yeah, kids just woke up. I got to get ready to go do some breakfast. All right, now here's another rated, you know, that's that's cool. This is just some ideas of things you can put on your little pieces of paper. My back need a, ba a baby oil massage. It hurts. Um, and it's sore. The muscles are tight. So, basically, this is just saying a massage. Okay, so, you like I said, you put seven little, six or seven little things on pieces of paper, fold them up, put them in your little medicine bottle, and... Out of surprise, or if your husband had a hard day at work, yes. you say preach, you need preach. some medicine. He up there talking about preach. And yeah. you just give him this yeah. and, and shake it up and let him pick yeah. one out. And whatever it says, that's what you did. Okay? So that's just a little idea. Now, this big one, I'll talk to y'all about this one later. Okay? Because that one is really fun. 
that is just like totally fine. So I'll talk to y'all about that later because this might cut off. So um, I, ju I just wanted to let y'all know the update on what's going on. Okay, we are totally snowed in that right now. We got 84 inches of snow. We got two more feet coming, which equals 24 inches tonight on top of what y'all see. So everything that they, you saw the, the track, the digging all that out. Yeah, they get ready to dump two more feet back into that spot. But I guess they're getting ahead of it so that instead of it being 84 plus 24 to dig out, they only got to do 24. So they're doing the 84 now, getting a head start, and then they'll come back once the 24 is done and do that. So that's where we at, the snow update. Let's just call it snow update and ragamuffin style, okay? But I got a husband, so I can't be totally rag, okay? Rag, but not rag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, let me go because I want to go finish seeing the, the little activity outside. So, hope y'all enjoyed it. Hit subscribe so that you can come back and get more, honey, of these interesting uh, YouTube uh, videos, okay? Live and vibrant from Osmeric now, okay? All right now. Bam. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>